Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, so this will be the first lesson in our training course, and in this lesson we are going to see the basics of uh, Blender S3D, uh, which is version 2.8. So uh, basically we are here in the 3D view, and uh, by default I should enable the screen uh, cast case. And uh, if we go here in uh, this dimensions, we uh, will uh, see something. So this is the render, uh, render dimensions. We will in, uh, not use it, and in, uh, this is the uh, out about but we we can go to this one also this is the scene and we uh, can go to the units in the units we uh, we have two uh, two uh, unit system which is first one which is the meters and the metric and second is the um, burial which uh, work uh, very well in uh, the uh, which work very well uh, if you uh, are using the American system and uh, the lens uh, may be feet inches or male but we will work uh, with the meters and this is the first step uh, we can uh, define the uh, dimensions uh, here and after that we can go to start to add a plane this is a uh, first plane you can uh, go to add and after that you can go to the tool for the item uh, and see that we have dimensions of two meters so uh, this is the x here this is dimension of two meter and in the y dimensions of if you had an plane of five meter by four meter you can type like this or if you had maybe point two which is uh, 20 centimeters you can uh, work with centimeters and if you're working with millimeters you can work with millimeter so maybe we have this and uh, in the y direction maybe 300 millimeter so uh, clicking the bridge to zoom in to our design and uh, if you're working uh, with micro object you can uh, choose uh, millimeter or micrometers but i will stick to the centimeter and uh, we have some object mode and edit mode and to uh, extrude you can hit e and extrude in the z axis around 0.2 which is 20 centimeters but we working on uh, centimeter so it's uh, 0.2 centimeter so if you uh, go to the item We'll see that we have 0.2 centimeter. Uh, so uh, let's do it another time to around 10 centimeter. So we have in the, this axis. All right. Uh, so uh, let's go to define how we can navigate inside Blender. So basically, you can using the middle mouse to navigate such as this and you can uh, zoom in and zoom out using your mouse wheel or control a middle mouse like this if you go zoom in and see this this is an clipping issue and basically you will uh, go to the view and this clip start to be a, a small value like this and you are fine now to see uh, no clipping issue and if you uh, go uh, very very small uh, item or clipping clipping distance you will see that you have so you can go to point uh, oh one centimeter and the clipping issue will uh, disappear and if you are using very very small clipping like this you will see that you have the clipping but you can stick to point oh one and uh, this will be fine for now and to uh, start uh, you can also navigate like this and you can also rotate uh, using the mouse wheel and you can ban shift middle mouse so uh, to recap our lesson if you want to zoom in you have two options the middle mouse will zoom in and zoom out and also the uh, control let's go to ban shift middle mouse so, uh, so shift middle mouse will ban your uh, scene and to zoom in with the mouse wheel and uh, to navigate to uh, rotating using only the mouse wheel shift middle mouse to the ban so you have the zoom and the ban and the rotate this is recap of our 3d viewport all right 
and uh, let's see how we can select uh, to, uh, so uh, we have here a 3d cursor uh, to uh, define our 3d cursor in the viewport you must go to select shift and right click like this and you will have the ability uh, to uh, go and select or define uh, some locations like this and uh, also you have uh, the ability uh, to add an object here which is an icosphere and uh, let's add here an a cube so we have here uh, we have here an a cube and let's delete this we have here an a cube and uh, this cube size around 0.4 so it's 40 centimeters and the location here you can define the location and the z also and the y also you can define the rotation uh, but we will uh, go to make all zero all right uh, you can also align to view or to the world and this is very handy option which will generate UVs and we will explain it later anyway we uh, can uh, now go uh, to uh, define this cube and we uh, will uh, go now so if you want uh, to make this cube at the center you can shift C to make at the center and shift S this is very handy and you must remember that you have uh, shift S uh, like this so you can say selection to cursor and after that we will define how you can move and rotate and scale so we have here the move and you have the rotate and you have the scale and to move you can go to move in the x axis and also you can move in the y axis and move uh, in the z axis so I have hide it uh, let's uh, now explain what about the our views so uh, our view uh, we are now in the front and you are now in the right and you are now in the top and uh, to be in the back you can control one to be in the back and also you can uh, let's go here you can control one to be in the back and control three to be in the left and control seven to be in the bottom and also you can uh, go here and uh, click on these icons you will uh, go straight uh, to be in uh, the uh, these uh, these views anyway we have explained uh, what our uh, about our orthographic views and if you are here we are now in, in orthographic and if you uh, want to be in the perspective you can click on this icon or simply click on the five which is a short cut and you must remember one three and seven and five to be in the perspective or to be in the orthographic and also uh, let's uh, see uh, unhide all our items alt h to be uh, uh, to unhide this cube and to be honest uh, so instead of the layers in the version 2.79 we have uh, now the outliner which is here and we can rename this to be our first layer or to be design a layer and also we have these icons you can rename it to be building maybe and you can uh, rename all these icosphere or sphere and uh, also uh, we have uh, something we uh, have uh, so uh, we have the outliner you can uh, unhide from here or uh, hide hide or unhide like this or using a shortcut h or alt h so we have uh, now the ability uh, to add here an item which may be a torus and we can uh, move this to a new collection and rename it uh, rename it uh, layer layer 2 like this anyway and hide this collection for now uh, so uh, to be honest we can now go to define the rotation and moving uh, the information towards our uh, next uh, lesson uh, so uh, how we can move and rotate and scale uh, any item inside blender 2.8 so the process is very simple you can move in the 3d space like this and if you have and define dimension you can g in x around uh, one centimeter and g in y around 20 centimeter and uh, g in z around 
50 uh, centimeters like uh, this and uh, the next step is uh, to go further and uh, let's see how we can rotate if you are now in the 3d space you can rotate uh, like this and uh, you can rotate in x axis around 90 degrees and rotate in y 45 rotate in z 45 and if you go here in the item you will see that we have these dimensions with which we have defined earlier and if you make any custom uh, dimension and you want to apply this rotation to be uh, the basic or the original rotation you can uh, select apply rotation and you will see that it is basic is your uh, basic rotation like this anyway uh, let's uh, go uh, to uh, the next step uh, so you can now scale in the x-axis to be 2 scale in the z.5 and scale in the y uh, to, uh, 3 times like, like uh, this anyway uh, let's uh, delete all uh, these items we have now uh, explained uh, the move and rotate and scale this is a shortcut for this item and this is the selection like this and i will go to the center and selection to be the center and this may be table so i will uh, move in the z axis around 55 and after that i will uh, go to add a two loop cut like this and scale in the y axis uh, such as this and then i will uh, deselect everything and control bevel uh, to uh, this item and after that we will uh, add two loop cuts like this and i will bevel also such as this and then we will select uh, go to the face uh, to, so uh, we haven't explained what is the vertex and what is the faces and what is the edges so basically every the, the smallest unit in blender is the vertex and this this is the vertex and this also will be uh, the, this uh, face and this is it so uh, this is an edges and this is an face and these are uh, are uh, vertex which you can scale and you can move and you can rotate as you like so uh, we will deselect everything and go to the face and uh, let's select all these and let's uh, extrude around uh, 0.5 uh, not 0.5 but we will gz move around boy, uh, minus 50 uh, so basically you have now this table and uh, let's go to apply an bevel modifier so the bevel is is large and uh, it will be five centimeter and this I didn't expect that will be uh, a table like this. So this table is what we have get now. And I hope you enjoy this uh, first lesson in uh, Blender 2.8. And in the next lesson, we will make our first mechanical drawing. I hope you enjoy this, this course. See you in the next lesson.